Zero. Zero. You obviously give a long leash to your fighters about you know what they can say when they are up there with a UFC microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia, transphobia. Like, is there? I don't give anybody a leash. Well, I'm saying you a leash. I'm st- like free speech. I control when, what people say. Gonna tell people what to believe. Gonna tell people. I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes on any of them. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on, though. Yeah, Uh, probably a good idea. Agreed. One of the other things that's changed in America that's quite obvious is that we don't have free land anymore. You can't just, you know, if if you're having a rough go of things, you can't just, you know, uproot and go and start someplace new with, you know, 40 acres and a mule and, you know, make a good life. You know, today we are... A lot of people are strapped. Uh, A lot of people are in debt. A lot of people are suffering. A lot of people are stuck in jobs that they don't feel like are leading towards a a career or fulfillment. A lot of people are looking for meaningful relationships and can't find them. And, you know, it really leads to this question of, well, so how do you respond when things are spinning out of control? And I think that part of the answer is to embrace tradition, because at this point, what else do you really have to grab hold of? And this is why conservatism needs, I think, to take the high road here and show what is able to be grabbed onto that can be held onto that's both in the moral tradition and in the the political tradition as well. And that those two things, the religious side, the philosophical, the political, the the party system that could be, you know, renewed, if you will. Uh, if you actually had people that, you know, got together and talked about issues together and learned from one another. And as you just referred to, you know, formed friendships, all of these things are going to be critical. And, you know, we can't take these, you know, these reductive paths to, as as you were just saying, like this economic view that is, uh, I want it my way, no matter what. And, you know, nothing else really matters. Otherwise, we can't really be an American republic. Yeah, it requires, and in for sake of, I guess, intellectual simplicity, that might be the nice way to put it. These simple ways to frame everything are really caustic to the whole because they can be taken to a really drastic end if they're not 